AI has the power to automate. But if it's using untrusted data, can you trust the results? Your business doesn't just need AI, it needs the right AI for your business. Introducing Watson X, a platform designed to multiply output by tailoring AI to your needs. When you Watson X your business, you can train, tune, and deploy AI, all with your trusted data. Let's create the right AI for your business with Watson X. IBM, let's create. I'm one of the early uh, members of BDPA. I joined the organization in 1976, uh, with it being the Philadelphia chapter. And as I say in, the, in my book, the only chapter that was available at that time. When I went to Philadelphia with my buddy Mac, and he did the introduction, it was Earl Pace that I had met. And so we started talking, and so we realized that we're both in computers and so forth. And that's how I was introduced to Earl Pace initially. Then I, they asked me to become a speaker at one of the early um, program meetings that the Philadelphia chapter was presenting. And I, attend, I came, I spoke about security, as re, computer security as related to banking systems. And that they were impressed with that presentation, and but I was more impressed with them as the members of this new organization that they call Black Data Processing Associates. And so, very shortly after that, I became a member. I joined, and that's how I joined the Philly or Philadelphia chapter. How am I affiliated with BDPA? Well, back in the day. I had heard that there was an organization of black computer people. And I was trying to find that organization. And I heard about it several times, but I could never find the organization. And so, I don't know if you're familiar with the publication called Computer World or not, but I was looking at Computer World one day and lo and behold, BDPA was in it. And they were having their computer conference in Newark, New Jersey. And so I was very excited to see that. And so when I got home, I told my wife, I said, you know, I, I, I got them now. <laughs> I got them now. I've been trying to find y'all, but I just I just couldn't find you. I said uh I've been in computing now for a long time and now that I've found you, I'm hoping that I can get together with you guys to do some work for the betterment of the organization. And he got to telling me about the D.C. chapter. He said, yeah, we have a D.C. chapter, and the president of the D.C. chapter is Miss Shirley Jenright, and um, I'm going to give you her number before I get off the phone, and I'm just so thrilled that you called me. And so we chatted for a few more minutes. I got off the phone. I, got his, I, I asked him for his number, and he gave it to me. And... Um, I guess it must have been 15, 20 minutes later, I got a call from Shirley Jenright. Shirley Jenright, I didn't know at the time, is a local politician in Fairfax County, which is right outside of D.C. And she says, oh, Jesse, you know, I'm so happy that you called, you know, um, I, I want to hurry up and get you involved in this and that and so forth and so on and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. And the next thing I knew, they were going up to Newark to the conference. And of course, my wife and I caught the train and I went up there too. And let me just tell you, I was like 
a little boy in a candy store. I'm meeting all these black people, you know, and they computer this and computer that and telecommunications this, telecommunications that, and they work for this agency, they work for that agency, this company, that company. And I was just telling everybody, I'm just so happy to be here. I'm just so happy to be here. I am going to have to get involved. And so I went to a number of the sessions and uh, I, I did the best I could in terms of, you know, being a good participant in the conference. But all the time I'm thinking, I'm going to be a part of this. I've been a longtime member of uh, BDPA. Um, I actually came to my first conference in uh, 2005, 2006 time frame. And I was really blown away by what I, you know, witnessed at the conference. Um, at the time, the motto of the organization was from the classroom to the boardroom. And you could see uh, students and also executives and professionals. It was very impressive. And I left that conference um, really inspired, inspired enough to actually found, co-found the Indianapolis chapter. And then I've been coming back uh, ever since. He is a pioneer to me for, he saw a vision. And that, I think that's incredible because from when, when he started BDPA, he saw this, this conference that we're at right now, this 44th annual BDPA technology conference. And he was able to see from that time period an impact that was not yet visible. Um, so he is a pioneer. He is a visionary, he is a connector, and that takes courage, that takes persistence and commitment, and um, I'm truly grateful for, for the sacrifices he made as well as his ability to be that visionary and to manifest the vision that he saw. I would say thank you. Greetings everyone, I'm Perry Carter, President of BDPA. Thank you very much for viewing a short trailer featuring one of our upcoming documentaries. Our book, The BDPA Story, is now available on Amazon.com and it is an integral part of our golden anniversary campaign along with an upcoming series of documentaries showcasing our association's rich heritage since 1975. Formerly known as Black Data Processing Associates, BDPA's journey began in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today, its community engagements and mission support transcend workforce development and technical upskilling across academia, private sector, and our public sector domains. Through its media channels and BDPA Today publications, BDPA continues to feature industry icons, technical innovations, and computer science milestones while honoring those from our communities supporting data processing across emerging industries. As chapters continue to embrace and promote the BDPA story and the BDPA legacy, we will continue promoting and improving professional, community, and economic development programs with our mission partners for members. We will continue to upskill today's workforce for tomorrow's innovations from A to Z. These include exciting programs such as artificial intelligence, autonomy and robotics, quantum computing and post-quantum cryptography, all the way through our zero trust strategic approaches to cloud computing and cybersecurity. So discover more with this vignette and also our social media platform. We now remember our fallen champions for 2023 who are no longer with us. Don't you wish your phone was fun like this? Don't you wish your phone looked more like this? 
Then you wish your phone could flex like this. Don't you wish your phone could fit in here? Don't you? 